Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations 2. Resident Evil. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, we're about to be here in the main menu, because I like to start the second session of an LP by demonstrating exactly what happens when you load the game. Because as anyone who's ever played a video game can tell you, you can never be certain until you've done it once. So let's see, campaign, main campaign, and jump back in. Fear of night, fear of not night. That's not a quote, it's not even a statement. It's like they took part of a statement and applied it to something else. Ah, yes, we need to get back out to the front and, uh... No, so that's why the book is glimmering, because you can read it, duh. Um... Just we need to get back out to the main entrance and, uh, turn on the flamethrower head. And presumably use it to kill all those guys, because there's way too many to take out with bullets. Oh, speaking of which, actually, I have a note here. Oh, that's nice and bright in this corner. Perfect. Okay, uh, I'll just move aside for, uh, Moira. Yeah, okay, there. Apparently... Yeah. Shout out to Derek Floyd, who informed me that apparently this handgun is a Makarov PM, which was a standard issue uh, handgun for the, in the for the Soviet Union. Uh, whereas yeah, this is uh, a Merkel 147 SL shotgun, which he describes as being just your standard run-of-the-mill double-barreled shotgun. Okay, I thought I had some of these shotgun shells, too, but sure, let's go with that. You know, that radio that was playing in the very first area that I couldn't locate was talking in Russian. I'm wondering if that and the Soviet-era handgun mean that, uh... That, uh, that, uh... What am I trying to say? Where are we trying to go? Uh, other way. Yes, great. I wasn't following the dot. Embarrassing! Yeah, it makes me wonder if this facility is in Russia. Except that, you know, there's not a trace of an accent on the voice over the bracelets, and that, uh... Well, you know, all the notes we found have been in English. Ah, damn it. That was not ideal. Ah, <sighs> what is it about getting turned into a zombie that makes you so much... More durable? Okay, works for me. I mean, I did shoot that guy in the sternum, like, twice in a row. And he wasn't dead yet. I'm just saying. Well, since those guys are gone. Uh... Hey, trust me on this. There is not going to be nothing in all of these cells. Especially if the only way to get these ones open is to open the last door. Shame I don't have like a fucking Molotov I can just ch toss in there. Or hey, better yet, how about an orbital thermite strike and just melt this entire facility into slag? Nah, I guess that doesn't really work while we're here, huh? Fine. That was what it was! Yeah, I couldn't remember what the third thing that reminded me of Russia was. Spelling cog with a K. That's not actually something they do in Russia, but it is associated with Russia in media for whatever reason. Oh. Uh, excuse me! What? Oh, I didn't know 
there was one behind me. That's really embarrassing. And yeah, those would be, uh, you know, instant death. It's just... Oh, lag. Lag spike. Aha! I just suddenly had a sense. Wondering if I missed that because of the, like, obvious attention-drawing thing in the room, you know? Oh, those guys will be back. Well, I'll just, uh, hand this shit over. Uh, let's actually have you go first. It'll be fine. Oh, man, his arm. Ah! That was not the stealth kill I was hoping for. Now. Not looking forward to facing that fucking big guy again. In it goes, in it goes, in it goes. Oh no, it's yard time! Oh, there is one there. I can never tell what's going on when... Okay. Yeah, that's the opposite of what I wanted to do there. Back off! No, god damn it! Why do you turn in the opposite direction? That I always expect. Well, now I'm... Sorry, Moira! Your partner will get down if they're under health. Once down, they will not be able to move. Save it down to partner. Press Y while in close range. Okay, that's not... I didn't actually mean to grab it again, but sure. Oh shit, I'm bleeding. Uh, uh. Turn it away from the guy that I want to burn. And turn it away from the guy that I want. What? What? Does it only turn in those two directions? I'm not actually hitting a direction, it only turns in those directions. Amazing. Alright, you. Christ! Oh, hey, perfect. You... Oh, you're fine? Uh... Okay. Damn! There was an item sitting on this thing, like a fucking upgrade part, but... It blew up. Alright, first things first. Yeah, that will never work. Uh huh. Maybe we can find like a crowbar and just toss it in there. I know, I know. Okay, I didn't look up, did I? You know, right there would be a good spot for one of those uh, secret crests. 
One by one, it'll be fine. And we're gonna do it as Moira. Wonder if there are hidden items in the ceiling. They mostly seem to put the glints behind things in this game, but I vaguely seem to remember that, uh, seemed to, to remember that the, uh, the glints in the first game just showed up, like, wherever. Like, on a bookshelf superimposed over a book, floating in midair, just sitting in a random patch of floor. Oh, alright. It felt like I spent more of that fight str trying to figure out the stupid flamethrower thing and still failing at that than I did, uh... God. You know, actually fighting dudes. I can't, for the life of me, figure out what you're meant to do with, uh... Well, wait, can I...? No, there's no way that'll work. I mean, realistically, you could, like, hug the corner and curl around it, but this is a video game, and I can't do that. Yeah, yeah, you just hit A, and it rotates in one of those two directions. I'm an idiot. Oh, good thing I'm Moira, then. Um... This is fine. Yeah, just duck around, it'll be fine. Next! Oh, he didn't even make it in here. Okay, that just happened. You're a regular guy, are you gonna do that? Nah, we're good. You know, Moira, if we just stand here long enough, they will either run out of gas or zombies. Want to find out which it is? Oh, hey. Even the big guys go away eventually. Did I reload this? I did. I don't have any more shells anyway, so it doesn't matter. God damn it! You're the one with health! Back off! How is your health? Oh. There you go. A little off the top. Sorry about that, Moira. I honestly thought he'd be dead by the time he got to you, but I guess being in that grapple animation canceled the dying part. Are they just gonna keep coming, or what? Do I get, like, an achievement for waiting until they're all burned up and dead? Oh, this room must smell real, real bad. Oops, that's not the correct button. I am gonna have to remember that it is not why to change guns in this one. Yeah, co-op action! It's like those doors that go. Oh. Well fuck that place very much. Where do you think we are? I'm upset I didn't get the thing, but whatever. There will be more parts. Again with these stupid bracelets. Who are you? I want answers. I am the overseer. 
Oh, good. Overseer. Hmm. No, I don't like that. What do you want from us? Duh. Nice. Real nice. So it's very clear that she wants to torture the shit out of you. And make you afraid. This is like, like a... Moira. But, oh. Thought I saw... Actually, how is this place not crazy with glints? Well, I guess it is crazy with stuff that we want to drop here, but it's like, here are some guard's keys from 1986. Not gonna find any bullets or hey, that's an herb. Huh, never actually seen it growing in the ground before. I think. It's always just been like potted plants and stuff. Oh, uh, a couple people reached out to me in private. Apparently there was some confusion about the title thing from the first session. Uh, when they made the first game in Japan in 1998, I believe it was, they, uh... Oh, dear. Pardon me a moment. My apologies about that. I realized I hadn't actually started my timer and needed to take efforts to, uh, fix that. It did mean I had to let the game crash by alt-tabbing, so I'll just grab this and continue on my way. Actually, yeah, what's going on over here? Hmm. The, uh, as I was starting to say, when they made the very first game in this fr franchise, they call in Japan they called it... Biohazard, because all of the mayhem in that game starts with a, uh, a leak at a biological research lab. And now that's pretty straightforward. But when they brought it to the States, uh, I don't know if, uh, they just didn't copyright it in Japan, or if it's because Japanese copyright laws are different. But, uh, in the States, they couldn't call it biohazard if they wanted to trademark it because American copyright law prohibits you from copywriting a word that is, you know, just a single commonly used word. So they couldn't, you know, make a trademark out of biohazard because that's a word. You know, it's the same reason those chuckleheads on the internet couldn't uh, copy whoever they were, couldn't copyright the word react about ten years ago when, you know, reaction videos were all the uh, rage. It is also, useless bit of trivia, uh, why every single toy they've ever made of the uh, Transformers character Ratchet, who is, of course, named after a type of wrench, uh, has been unable to just say Ratchet on the box, because you can't copyright that. They are always labeled Autobot Ratchet for that reason. So, they, since the first game takes place entirely inside a mansion, and, you know, the complex attached to it, I should add, uh, the, they came up with the name Resident Evil, and that's what they call it in America. Oh yeah, uh, can we count Vosik with a W as, uh, tw counting towards the, you know, Russian-flavored, uh, hints in this area? Claire, look! Over there! Kinda hard to miss. A radio tower. Maybe we can send an SOS. Shoot the antenna off from here. With a handgun. A Soviet handgun. I mean, they still make them. Apparently they're popular with, uh, civilians because they're cheap. I had heard Could the use your help. Could use your help. Oh. Oh! Shit, that means I missed one of these earlier. Oh. Okay, I'll try that again. I wonder if it's in the same... Oh, right. Oh, I had it fucking backwards. I had it backwards! I wonder if it's in the same spot. Let's find out. Noted. See? This one just handed itself to us. Get 
Can we open this? I mean, there is a door right here. Right. So I'll just crawl through here and unlock the door. Uh, that doesn't seem to be an option. How old is she? Like, 16? Yeah, she could fit through there. She's as skinny as a rail. Oh, dang, that's a wooden plank. I was actually about to turn around and say, let's compare this rail to... Oh. You see, I don't like this, because... Jumping over there... Well, Putting all of your weight on that first plank might be enough to break it. On the other hand, stepping carefully onto it might not be. So I don't know why you're not just walking on the goddamn girders. Or tinders, that's what they're called in their weight of wood. See? You can do it. I got you. You know, that's pretty much exactly what I thought was going to happen. Hollywood, that wasn't even close to easy. <laughs> So that's pretty much exactly what I thought was going to happen, except that I thought that, uh, I would have to do a quick time event to save her. Listen, Moira, I'm really sorry. I don't know what I got you mixed up in. Mary will never forgive me. This isn't your fault. Also, Barry can kiss my ass. The guy bitches and moans and granny swears about everything. Hey, Granny swearing is endearing, man. I know a girl who refuses to say real swears, and it's adorable. I will mention one other thing that the uh, whole biohazard Resident Evil thing has reminded me of. Uh, after the guy most singularly credited with coming up with Resident Evil in the first place left Capcom, he made another... Uh, horror game called The Evil Within. Uh, that one at its sequel. Uh, I've done Let's Plays of them both, incidentally. Uh, those are pretty solid. But, um... I remember when they announced it that a bunch of people were just, you know, ribbing the guy in the comments saying, you know, well, you know what an uncreative mind. First he creates a Resident Evil, and then he creates The Evil Within, which is a synonym. And I can't help but think, well, fuck you guys. When he created those games, he called them Biohazard and Psychopaths. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that was Psycho Break. What's Psycho Pass? I don't know, maybe it's an anime or something I heard of once. It's just a term that's in my head somewhere. Yeah, Psycho Break. I don't know what that means. It doesn't really have any reflection in the games themselves. That's not a crime, or, you know, half the games on Steam would be in jail. Um, when done that completely strange thought, I'll call it here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations 2 when we find out why we can't immediately send an SOS. Later.